what's going on everybody this is tyrone back with tech life and in today's video i have some 5g low band testing from at&t out of los angeles and again this is the same thing that t-mobile has been doing on their 5g launch so at&t is using a lte anchor in band 2 and then band 5 as the nr band so they moved the nr radios on band 5 and then they're using LTE as an anchor, which is the same thing that T-Mobile is doing. So the performance is, again, very similar to what we see on, on LTE uh, today. So uh, a buddy of mine, he's in, uh, in Los Angeles right now with a Note 10 Plus 5G testing it out. So over the next few days, he's going to let me know the range. Um, he's going to let me know how widespread it is and, um, you know, if it does perform better, of course, then LTE, he is going to let me know the, the differences. So I'll have some videos of um, LTE and 5G with an iPhone and a Note 10 Plus. Um, we have seen a, a bit of an increase on the Note 10 Plus. That could just be due to the fact that Qualcomm has the better modem and chipset and then Samsung has really good RF performance. But that has been from LTE to LTE. So we still got to do the 5G testing and get back to you on that. I'm, I'm still testing the T-Mobile 5G. So the, the overheating did stop after I re factory reset at the OnePlus 7T McLaren edition. So that's a, that's a good thing. So I didn't have to send the unit in. I just had to do a factory reset. So, so one of the apps or something was causing it to overheat. Um, but again, the overheating, I don't see that as an issue on T-Mobile's part. That is a manufacturer part, uh, you know, issue coming from OnePlus, in my opinion. I, I don't think that's a T-Mobile issue. I see a lot of people making it seem like it's a T-Mobile issue, but that's actually the phone manufacturer that 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 creates that issue. So and uh, OnePlus is supposed to send out an additional software update as well. So. We're going to get all of that here in the coming weeks. So on to the testing. I just wanted to show you guys a few speeds. As you can see, there's a there's a couple of 5G and then some LTE. It's the same thing on T-Mobile. If you guys have watched some of my testing, the, uh, the speed test app will display 5G and then it will show LTE. And the phone will just remain on the 5G icon as long as there's some type of NR connection to the phone. So again, AT&T is doing the same thing as T-Mobile as well. They are doing intraband between towers. So if that specific tower does not have the NR, it can be the signal can be uh, aggregated from a different tower onto the phone so it can still display the 5G icon. So just looking at some of the speeds, as you can see, uh, most of the LTE speeds are faster than the 5G ones that you see here. So there's still some uh, definitely some more testing uh, needed to take place over the next few days. So I will get back to you guys on that. But and here it is again, another test with the uh, 5G icon at the top. And no, this is not the 5G E that that uh, AT&T has been uh, putting up on the phones. That's just regular LTE plus. This is the actual real 5G and our technology that's in use. But again, as it stands today, um, my recommendation i can't uh co-sign or you know give you guys a recommendation to get a 5g device to this day on any carrier i can't recommend it on t-mobile i can't recommend it on at&t and i can't recommend it on sprint and i can't recommend it on verizon just yet i want to see how the technology develops um, of course if you've already gotten the device or you were planning on getting it anyway you know go ahead and do it but i just can't uh, to the to the average consumer i just can't find a way to justify spending that amount and then getting a very similar performance as we're seeing today on lte now the 5g for verizon is different in the hot pockets where you do get it if you are in a venue um, in a populated venue then hey you know that millimeter wave spectrum it can help. It can definitely help over an LTE performance. So if you are in a in a populated venue where LTE is, you know, slow, super slow, below one MPBS, and then here you are with a 5G millimeter wave capable device getting over one gigabit per second, 
then hey, why not? You know, why not get it for that? If you go to that area a lot or a football game, maybe. But, you know, for on the overall picture, millimeter wave right now is not going to be covering you in about, I want to say, 90% of the places where you're at. So work, wherever you, you know, travel to, play, have fun at, bars, whatever, I don't think you're going to be connected to millimeter wave. It's just too spe- It's just in two specific, specific areas at this time. So like downtown, um, a couple of uh, football stadiums, but it's not to where I can say, look, you need to go out and get this device because it's it's everywhere now. So just wanted to keep you guys up to date on, on at and 5G launch. So definitely stay tuned for more. I will have some videos up, comparisons. So definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also like, share as well. Also follow all of the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.